Hey there, welcome to the video. I'm Scott Welsh and we get together every Thursday and we talk about trading systems. Um, this week, we're gonna talk about the war. There's a war going on out there. Is that from Terminator or is that just from this video? Uh, well, let's get right to it. And we'll talk about uh, the battle raging on trading fronts all over the world. Three things we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about that eternal battle and specifically the eternal battle of profit targets and their sizes. I'm gonna tell you my theory of why more is better and we're gonna look at the results and we're going to draw a conclusion that can't possibly be wrong. All right, this is a disclaimer. As always, please do not risk any money you cannot afford to lose. These are hypothetical numbers. I do my best to test them accurately, but they're for entertainment, education, and hypothetical musings. Moving on. Um, as I mentioned, there's a battle and I get emails on this all the time. I get comments on this all the time. And this war is between big profit targets and little profit targets. Okay, what do I mean? Well, when you have a small profit target, what does that mean? Well, almost always it means that we have a high win percentage, almost always, but that also means that we have a bigger stop, either a huge stop, no stop at all, gasp, or just a stop that's more by a multiple than the small profit target. So if you go for 10 pips, maybe your stop is 50, something like that. There are systems that do that. I've been testing systems that do that for years, many, many, many years. But what's the problem? Well, that's when you get the battleground. Risk to reward. It's all off. You'll read books. You'll listen to podcasts. If you do any research at all, the smart people will tell you that risk to reward has to be in your favor, meaning your reward, profit, must be way bigger than what you risk. That's the only way to make it in this world. And I'm smacking my hands together. I hope you saw that. Five to one is a good maybe gauge. Read that in a book somewhere, Tony Robbins. Uh, other people have said two to one, whatever. The point is you want your wins to be much bigger. And there is a huge argument on that side because that's where all the smart people are. You've got dumb, hopeful, high in the sky people that love their small profit targets. Stupid people, <laughs> they're so naive. And then there's the big profit targets and this war is a violent one, except there's no violence, okay? Now, of course, you immediately just talking about that, you get right into trend following. Now. I like trend following just fine. I've done research on trend following. I've pretty much researched everything out there that I can find. I listen to a podcast on famous trend followers every week and I get it. And I, be I believe that they have many, many good points. And what are their points? You let your winners run. Have you ever heard that? You should have. And you cut your losers short. You ever heard that? You should have. Well, what does that mean? That means your profit targets are bigger than your stops. And we're right back to our argument. You can see this has many fronts, this war, this war about small profit targets. And as I mentioned, if you like small targets, you generally feel like you're in the minority of silly, ignorant traders. Okay. Now, I've been talking about this weekly pivot system. Hopefully you're not tired of it because I am just enthralled. This is a robot. This is a system, honestly, I learned from Rob Booker back in 2009 at a live trading seminar. That was when I was introduced to week, weekly pivots. That was a long time ago. Then a few years later, I built a much simpler system based on price traveling back to a weekly pivot point. And I tested it. I made a strategy on two different platforms. Trade station first for Forex, and then they discontinued Forex, and then into MT4. But I made those completely different because I the trade station one, the code wasn't quite right the way it was intended. So actually, I've made two of these strategies and then did nothing. <laughs> I did nothing with it. It was a viable strategy, tested out fine, and I moved on. Oh, what's the next shiny object? And this was many years ago, maybe five years ago, longer. Well, recently in 2019-ish, I just decided to take a look, right? Do you ever keep your systems around and then go back and take a look? I do. And I went back and took a look and I'm like, huh, this looks kind of good. Well, what if I do this? 
And when I did this, it worked so much better than I thought. I was literally in disbelief. And that's why I'm talking about it. I've just revisited this research in the past handful of months. And I can't believe how robust it is. So I'm sorry if you're tired of hearing about it, but you're going to be hearing more about it because I'm just enthralled. Okay. And this system was you trade only the beginning of the week. You trade to pivot points that have not been hit yet. You put a big stop on it, let the trade work, and you just go for a small chunk. You wait for price to move away from fair value, and weekly pivot is one of the most powerful proxies for fair value I've found anywhere. It is a powerful magnet. The research and the math prove it. Talked about it other times. So you wait for it to get away from fair value and take a small chunk. Um, can't believe, can't believe how that testing turns out, okay? It was profitable across 16 different currency pairs, and I've literally never seen that. When I test a system, even my favorite system, the systems that seem to have great risk to reward or great returns, great consistency, whatever it is, I've never seen the same system with no modifications go profitable across 16 pairs, never. And I believe it's profitable across more than that. I just pick 16 because... Honestly, I don't know why. I thought that was enough. <laughs> I don't know. That's just what I had data for. Anyway, moving on. But all that being said, um, why not go for more, right? My small profit target was arbitrary based on a discretionary system I used back in 2010. Like, why not go for more? Why not? Reversion to fair value, reversion to the mean is true now, years ago, and forevermore. Everything reverts to the mean. But if it's a truism, why go for just a little bit? Why am I cutting my winners short? And if price moves quickly back to fair value, which I have the research that shows it does early in the week, well, isn't that the start of something, right? Isn't that probably an indicator that it could go much farther or much further, depending on if you want to use the word correctly? A bigger move is probably coming. Why am I taking a short profit target? Or why am I taking just a chunk? Why not take it all the way back to fair value? We know it's a magnet. Like, do you see where I'm going with all this? There's no real great reason to go after a small profit target. And I have very great reasons, redundant, to go after a bigger profit target. I've got risk to reward. I've got fair value. I've got reversion to the mean. I've got trend following. I've got the start of a trend. I've got a lot of reasons. So not only am I going to go for more, but I'm going to wait longer to get in because the farther it is from fair value, the more extreme it is and the quicker the move back. This is perfect logic. You see why I'm so smart and you see why this is going to work. Hmm. All right. I took my system, the one that works so well, and I multiplied the profit target by 10. I'm going for the bleacher seats. And like I said, I waited for extreme circumstances. So I waited until it's farther away. And clearly my risk reward is better. I've got a little trend following principles. Don't cut my winner short. And we're ready to go. Here are some examples. This is not from not too long ago on the Euro dollar one hour chart. Trading that this is, you see this gap? This is the Sunday gap. I'm waiting for price to start far, far away from fair value because price loves to come back to the weekly pivot. And this robot, of course, I built a robot. I'm not trading this live. I'm too lazy. I don't know if it's lazy. My life's too important. I don't want to sit at a computer and press buttons. I know you could put, you could put the orders in and it would be just as easy. I know. Anyway, price gaps down. It hits my desired measure away, 200 pips away. And then I just traded it back to fair value. How easy is that? Look at my monster wins. That is fantastic. I am so smart. Now, here's a loser. I mean, losers come, you know, that's part of the deal. Again, early in the week, prices moved far, far away from the weekly pivot. And it went my way. And then it went away. And I just put a, um, a stop on it of about 100 pips, right? Two to one ratio, risk to reward. One thing you notice, um, it kind of went back to the weekly pivot a little bit. See that? Huh, a small profit target would have worked there. Profitable trade, losing trade. Profitable, anyway, 
just putting that out there, right? But there's two examples of a long and a short using this system. It's super simple, which again, blows my mind. And here's the whole portfolio. Now, I waited for price to get away, right? I used a big profit target and I used 16 symbols. Now, good news is this, profitable on most, right? So it's not a horrible idea at all. People who argue for risk to reward have something. Trend followers have something. Look at this, profitable on 13 of 16, right? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. 13 of 16, profitable. The losers aren't too, too bad. We get some nice winners, and this is from 2003 to 2019. We get some that return, just trading just one lot. We get some decent ones, but these are kind of tiny. But overall, if we traded it at this risk level, I mean, we're profitable. Our, our accounts got bigger and drawdown was a very, very manageable average of 23.5. I just averaged all these. So this target, this, this system has merit. This target has merit. Okay. We've seen it and this goes over 1,065 trades. Now, one thing you may see right away is by waiting for it to go so long and for making it go so far back to weekly pivot, from 2003 to 2019, the Aussie Canadian only traded 15 times. The Aussie New Zealand only traded 13 times. It's like once a year, not even. So that might be a problem. Now, others that are more volatile did just fine. I mean, didn't create a ton of trades. But um, you can see that, that you could put these in your portfolio, but you're not going to get a lot of action, right? So, but we knew that going in, right? We knew that. Now, did that change anything? Well, here, in case you forget, this is going for a small profit target, 195,000, 85,000, 195, 85, yikes, right? All 16, as I mentioned, are profitable. We get some big winners in there. The pound Swiss has not been great in the last year, year and a half, but it was great in all the other years, so it might be worth keeping in the portfolio because clearly it does great. Others were more consistent throughout all the years, but 16 pairs all were profitable. Average drawdown was bigger, but not much bigger. And look at this, over 6,200 trades. You get a lot of trades. You get a lot of statistical backup there. Um, bottom line is this. Um, all my theories and all my hypotheses did not improve a thing, right? Small pit portfolio went for 195K, big targets only 85. That is a significant difference over all of those years. The drawdown on both was, was good, right? Uh, it was a little bit better on the big profit targets because we traded a lot less, but um, also didn't trade much, as I mentioned here. Uh, again, I've tested systems. I try to be open minded, I try to be open to whatever works. All I care about is what makes money. And um, Small profit targets keep showing their validity over and over and over again. And once again, in this simple, timeless system, small targets just destroy profit targets, at least when I tried to keep them apples to apples, okay? So in this war, put a battle won on the ledger of the small profit targets. Um, this is clearly a win. So whether your trading system uses big targets or small targets, um, if you don't use small targets, you might want to consider it. Take a look. All right, lifetime memberships are back. Uh, there's an also a lower tier of membership. If you're interested in getting all the robots, um, you can buy individual robots. If you're interested in that, just email me. And that's the contact information. All right, that's all for this week. We'll be back next week with more systems. Bye for now.